It's been three years since my last album, and I've done some living and lots of growing. Now I have a new, very personal record that I wrote, and I want to show the world what I'm all about. But just a few weeks before the release, my days are jam-packed with photo shoots, interviews, wardrobe fittings, rehearsals, and even a trip to Europe, where I'm going to be performing with love my new single for the first time. There are a few quiet moments at home, but mostly it's insanity. But this is my life, right now. There's a little bit of a preconceived image, preconceived image that I'm just a really nice, normal girl. I'm nice girl. Girl. I am, but I have something to say. Something to say. I'm just ready to show everybody this kind of like new side of me. Side of me. Having this new record be so personal. So personal. It's just where I'm at in my life right now. Life right now. Look at my little dumb dog asleep, didn't hear a thing. We have a deaf dog. She just kind of stays there. Macy! Macy, get up! Hi! The weeks before you release the record, it's kind of like a big campaign. You work and work and work and work every day, and it all ramps up, and it's just insane. The strapless? Strapless. Okay, I'll have, it, I'll have it FedEx. Did you, do you guys remember the one from the photo shoot? No. Two days ago, it was strapless, and it was to here. That's it was perfect. skin tight. Perfect, yeah. I leave for Europe in two days, and between now and then, I have to do tons of interviews, photo shoots, rehearse with the band, learn a new dance routine, find time to pack, and on top of all of that, I have to find 35 outfits for the trip. Okay, you ready? 35 outfits. Let's do it. Look at the color of these shoes. Stop. <laughs> They're good. This is so cute. Pull it out. One of 35. These are cute. Isn't it cute? This is good, too. Isn't that cute? This is really cute. That's cute, too. I love this. Isn't that cute? That's good. Isn't that cute? So cute. Look, Hill. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're happy done. There. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I do too. Ghetto girl who? Let's just pull out the dresses and everything we want to do with leggings. Okay, perfect. Because I, I was just on. grabbing some too. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Here's your next one. Okay. Um. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Too high in the neck. I feel like I should, I don't know, do some kind of magic trick or something. Yeah. Soho Hotel's 240 yeah. pounds a night. Yeah. Can I send Hilda home yeah. after she gets still ready for the Loose Women performance send on Monday? Hilda get her home on the 3 p.m. flight. Make sense? Finally, I think the record is just me. You know, I wrote it, it's how I feel, and it's what I want to say. And hopefully people relate to that. So I'm doing everything I can to get it out there. My stomach hurts of hunger. We've already done like 15 outfits. I take pride in coordinating events that require more outfits than I have in my entire life. <laughs> I get like two. You have like two. You just keep repeating them. So just you have a uniform? The, get used to the clothes you see me in because I'll probably be wearing them four or five times okay. when I see them. Oh god, four or five times. The same clothes. You repeat? How many? 27. 27? We're getting there. We're almost done! So Hi. This is Jay. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm well. Hi, Hi. Hi. I'm Hillary. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, Hi. I'm Hillary. I'm Hillary. Hillary. Nice, nice to meet you. Cool. So you want to watch for a second? Sure, yeah. Cool. I don't force anybody to do anything. <laughs> you know, if you don't like something, then we'll change it. I'm a little nervous because I'm going to be performing this song live in Europe. 
And this time I'm going to be doing it as a choreographed artist, which I've never done before. Good job, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> It's hard to think about singing and doing specific dance moves at one time because I just get so into it, I just lose myself. Work time. I really hope that I can pull this off before you're up, but tomorrow's a new day. Today is another crazy day. I have a full band rehearsal, an interview, and a photo shoot, all before we leave for Europe tomorrow. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> are you going to go to the Vanity Fair party? I just don't want to go because. Now that I have to do shows in Europe, right. I need as much time to practice as right. possible and my okay. photo shoots. I've had to do all this stuff. Okay. I do love my job, but it does come with sacrifices. Sometimes you have to say no to the fun stuff in order to get it right. Okay, they want to do a holiday gift set. It's a jewelry box, but what they want to do is on the top have top of box engrave something. Their first choice is his. He loves me. And then when you open it up on the top, it'll say I'm irresistible. I don't like any of the sayings personally. I'm irresistible. No. If you don't like the idea of it, they're going to scrap it from the beginning. Okay, I like the idea of it being a jewelry box. I don't like any of the sayings that they've come up with. I'm much more involved in the decision-making process these days, so it makes everything really exciting. All right, guys, we're four minutes, and then she goes in to change. Rock and roll. I'm just going to come in and out, so you just face straight to me. Right there. Right there, Ruth. That's great with the face there. That's beautiful there. Beautiful there. That's fair. Ron, just have a look at me now. Okay, well, I'm happy on that. We love you. No, no, we live with you. Seriously. <laughs> It's really important for me to have people around that I can have fun with and Troy is going to act crazy and do the wildest thing. It makes it much more fun for me and not just work, work, work all the time. Oh now you got to do the sprinkler. <laughs> the sprinkler? Sprinkler. Oh, Come on now. What's the sprinkler? They're all the boys in the like, when you're having their third grade party. I'll tell you like, six. I'll break oh. my... Oh, oh, oh. 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 You make my... Yeah. Yeah. And then they do the shopping cart. Yeah. I want this. This is the shopping cart. Mix it around. Do the cake mix. The cake mix. Oh. The cake mix. The cake mix. Oh. The fish. Put the fish. Put the fish. <laughs> 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 the fish. It looks like you're slicing the dish. You're slicing the dish. Are you ready to change, everyone? I just wanted to start with your album. I know it's got a very grown-up sound to it. I don't know if this represents a transition for you. I just was wondering if you could just talk me through all of that. Well, you know, this is the first time that I wrote, like, my whole album. I don't think that it was a conscious choice to be like, it's got to sound more grown-up. I wrote what I felt. It's just kind of, I guess, a natural progression into where I feel like I am now, which is a little older. So, um, why did you choose the title? My manager, he brought over this track for me. He's like, you've got to hear this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want, this song's got to be called Where's Your Dignity? Just because I've been thinking about that, like, line in my head for a while. Really? Why? I don't know. That's, that's such a, a weird line to have in your head. Well, certain things affect me. I had all these crazy experiences that were like, who do these people think they are? You know, because yeah. they have money that they just, it's kind of ridiculous. Or yeah. like, they have the hottest bag. And I was like, where's your dignity? Like, I think you lost in the Hollywood Hills. That's some of the lyrics. I did before was kind of like pop rock 
music and it was just time for something fresh and new and it was so much fun experimenting with different sounds and, and just doing something that's so unexpected out of myself. When I wrote the song with love, actually it came really easily because I was, you know, in a relationship when I wrote that song and it came from a place of love. You know what, does it help if we play the chorus over and over so you guys get the chorus routine tight? No, because you know it's sequential, like something comes after that first uh, chorus, right. you know what I mean? Okay, what do I know about that? <laughs> but what part of the song is it where you guys are doing that um, head? Da. Then you walk again. And then how, many, how long is it until I need to be back? I mean, I can scream ho. Okay. <laughs> four, two, three, four. So like three eight counts, four and a half eight counts. You're speaking Chinese to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's okay. Let's just do it. And then just scream out. I will. Okay. She calls me a ho. <laughs> She's like, ho! Ho! Andre is my music manager, but we call him the German. And he's always kind of like the one saying, come on, guys, let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Was it like one more time? <laughs> I know that means two, like two or three more times in German. Yeah. But we're in America. Because we don't understand one. What, what? is what is one? <laughs> one is one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it from the top, right? All right, here we go. We go again? Yeah. Wait, that goes at the same time. Alright, I'll do it again. Ready? Let's do it again, guys. It's hot here. The NQ is gonna be the end of me because I just can't get it. Oh. That will work once we get it. So <laughs> I gave out already. I'm done. <laughs> everyone's gonna be giving me that warning. Not just you, Trina. Everyone's gonna be like, hey, we're gonna go back. <laughs> Hopefully, when I get to Europe, we can go over it more, and I, I'm gonna be watching it on videotape because we've had no time. I'm glowing. <laughs> You have your passport. Mm-hmm. In your bag. Mm-hmm. In my purse. In your purse. What else? Oh my gosh. Why'd you do this? Where's Lola? When did you get home? Haley, when did you get home? Just like two seconds ago. Hi. Love you. Hi. Congratulations on your movie. Thank you. I literally am leaving in like an hour. Where are you flying today? Spain. But I'll, I'm sure I can talk to you in the morning. Okay. Oh my god, stop. Wait, hold on. Let's take a picture. Wait. <laughs> this is awesome. Do you have to put film in it? It's on, period. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, we're so lame. Ah. It's on now. 
Oh my god, I was looking for a screen. <laughs> no, no, there's not no a screen. screen. <laughs> Wait, this doesn't... I've got to figure it out. Put it on a different letter, maybe. I'm about to leave. It's crazy. Ouch. Troy! Huh? Wait. Huh? Hey, Troy. Come here. What did she say she was? Can you pack these? Susan, this is really healthy almonds. Chocolate covered cherries and chocolate covered disgusto beans. I love you. I love you too. All right, guys, we gotta go. Hi. Hi, babe. How are you? Good. I love you. Go for it. There's a whole jar of them in the kitchen. Where are you willing to go? Thank you. Oh, no. You can carry it. It's like 10 pounds. You like? Do you push all the floors about that? I forget. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's roll, guys. Let's go. I feel like I'm forgetting I'm things. I'm always forgetting things. At least I feel like it. Pain! So, I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to fly. I love Madrid and I've been a couple times but I've never really gotten to come over here and, and be just a tourist because it's been such a busy schedule. Yeah. Really quick, guys. Okay, very soon. Hi, Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
Next time on Hillary Duff, this is now. I'm really excited to be here in London. I want to go see that play where Harry Potter's naked. He shows it. So we're going to a Lebanese restaurant. Oh my God, that restaurant has a picture menu. Your album's called Dignity. Yeah. You are half blind. That's my cabin. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, we have no clue what we're wearing. We weren't told, told to bring anything. anything. Feel good? Like you're ready? We're about to have the first live performance. Hilary Duff, this is now. This is the first time that I wrote, like, my whole album. I wrote what I felt, and hopefully people relate to that. I leave for Europe in two days, and my days are jam-packed with photo shoots, interviews, wardrobe fittings, rehearsals. Oh, shit! I love you. Where are you flying today? Spain. We only have one day in Madrid. I can't change my clothes and have the same hair and makeup for every different magazine. But for now, I'm off to London for my first big live performance. There's a little bit of a preconceived image, preconceived image that I'm just this really nice, normal girl, and I, I am, but I have something to say. Something to say. I'm just ready to show everybody this kind of like new side of me. Side of me. Having this new record be so personal, so personal, it's just where I'm at in my life right now. Life right now. I'm really excited to be here in London, but I'm nervous because I'm going to be performing my song with love for the first time. It's been three years since my last album. I feel like I wish I had a little more time to rehearse and to get comfortable with what I'm, I'm doing. But before the insanity starts, I get something that I really, really need, which is a day off. And I get a chance to unwind. Can I see those glasses? Oh, my rock me some. Oh, there we go. See, now I'm all no. hot for Troy. No, no, glasses I'm sorry. are just so hot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, it's Troy. How are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you interviewing for the job? I like to say I have great skills and uh, I would do like everything. I would like, you know, take your notes and stuff. You don't even have to say it. You just have to like, thank you. You just like you take it. coffee, it's done. <laughs> Can I see what they look like on me? No, oh more like God. Betty oh, or no. something like that. You are half blind. Hi, I'm Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jess. You're Jess. I'm here for the job interview. <laughs> Crispy fried duck leg for breakfast. <laughs> oh, what are sweet breads? Aren't they like Brains. guts and stuff? The brain. Yeah, I knew it was yeah, intestines. intestines. You are? I'm going to be an intestine eater. Right now? Yes, right now. Streaky bacon bubble and sweet. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see that? Right at the top. Streaky. <laughs> Bacon, bubble, and sweet. What is the idea? I think Troy's ordering it. One of the things I love about traveling is getting to try new things. Bubble and squeak. Hot roast chicken, thank you. Here. I'll go eat two. Is it good? I wonder if it tastes like potatoes. I don't like cabbage. It's good for you. Open I don't think mind. it is when it's fried with potatoes. He said it wasn't really fried. See the first taste initially, and then the cabbage will kick in. And then the grease will sit on your stomach and rot your intestines out. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Is everything all right for you guys? Wonderful. Love, bubble Love the bubbling squeaky. Excellent. Love it. I'm really excited for my day off because I get to do two of my favorite things, shopping, number one, and sightseeing. I'll get one right here. Yeah, one, two, three. Are you going to tour in the summer? Because that would be cool. And I couldn't read yeah. it, and I was like a bit of an idiot. Yeah, you were a little nervous. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Thank Thanks you so much. Okay. Guys, no worries. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No, no Mike. Bye. All right. Mountain, let's go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Who's down for a play? I want to go see that play where Harry Potter's naked. Well, this says he has a big one, too. Really? I heard it's also uncut. He shows it? And he's not cut. What? Yes, it's like a long, pointy one. Oh, it's huge. Come on, stop. That's not nice. That's what they say. Do girls really like freak out when they see a penis? That's the other thing. I mean, too, it's like not I... like it's not like looking at boobs. Like, no, it's not. no. I understand why guys like boobs, but like a girl's not gonna be like, oh, no, look at that. It's like not something that's not pretty to look at. <laughs>
That's even grosser. It's got like it's a little. Like Gina. Compartment. <laughs> <I'm> ready, Gina. <laughs> it looks like a Sharpay. <laughs> Here we are, folks. Yay! I know that on my day off I should be resting, but I get around all those pretty things and I can shop and shop and never stop. But tomorrow's my first big live performance. So the performance is this afternoon and I want to get in one final rehearsal before the show. I am really a perfectionist. That will work. Once we get it. At the last minute, I called the girls and brought them over to my hotel and cleared a lot of the furniture out of the way, and we did a last minute rehearsal. Do you want me to call out to you or no? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> you just go like this. And y'all go like different. Ah, uh, got it. Okay. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Got the whole microphone there. Yep. Ten more times, let's work, you're not sweating. Dear, let's go. We're sweating. Remind you, tell me what's going on your mind, you eat. Remind you, speak in the back. Again, right away. One more time for championship sake. Baby, you can be tough. Just say no, say no. You can never be gone. I just don't like the best. But I'm coming on way too soon. Don't think I'll be crushed. Her. Feel good? Like you're ready? Hope so. Oh, okay. I gotta hope so there. Are you gonna wear those shoes? Oh, we have no clue what we're wearing. Oh, really? Huh? We didn't do a fitting with them? What no. did you guys bring? Did you bring? We weren't told to bring anything. Yeah. <gasps> I thought we talked about having Linda do a fitting with them. Sometimes when it's so busy and there's so much going on, things just slip through the cracks. But you have to just deal with it and come up with a solution pretty fast. You bring your skirt, bring your tights, bring whatever shoes you can dance in. You do the same, I'll bring tops and stuff. It's really slippery. So what we'll do, we'll just get some scissors, cut it, and then put Coca-Cola on it. I think right before I do a performance, I don't re necessarily feel really nervous or scared. And this time around is different because it is somewhat choreographed. And I'm scared. I I'm not a dancer. <laughs> you guys ready? Oh, yeah. You ready to walk? We're walking. So this is it. I finally get to sing my song for millions and millions of people, and I'm really excited. Okay, standing by five seconds. Four, three, two, and here's the track. Are you guys ready? So this is it. I finally get to sing my song for millions and millions of people, and I'm really excited. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and here's the track.
feel better now? The moves worked perfectly and went smoother than I could have asked for, so now I can breathe again. <laughs> Thanks so much. Here you are. Have a good one. Thank you. Mom, hi. I'm going to do some show called Pop World. And I guess they wanted to do some kind of like a skit. So we're going to a cup a Lebanese restaurant to like cook kebabs or something weird like that. But <laughs> Oh my god, that restaurant has a picture menu. <sighs> I don't like that. <laughs> so we'll go over there and um, shave some meat off the kebab, and then we'll be just doing some serving. Let's go for it. Speeding. Hello, Hilary Dove. Today we're going to discover the magic of the kebab. You ready for that? I'm ready. Let's go in. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to be putting the meat onto the skewer like this. It's just, you just put it straight down. Okay. There you go. So, your album's called Dignity. Yes. Did I just flick you in the face with meat? <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that a first? <laughs> You've done this before. I'm getting more than me. I'm being, oh my god. Gotta put a little muscle in it, girl. Okay, so we've seen you um, go from kind of rock chick to more kind of dancey thing. Is this, is this an indication of you becoming a woman now? I think that it's just, you know, it's different. It's a different, I'm a, I'm a little bit different than I was when I made my last record. Yeah. You know, and, and it's where I'm at right now. Yeah, I feel like my cheeks are away from the heat. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Oh, my forehead. Wow. It's hot. Is your face fully cooked now? Do you have a new respect for the meat cutter? She has a new respect for your job, whoever cuts the meat back there. I love kebabs, and it would be a dream of mine to be able to learn how to make them or even own my own shop. It would be ideal. That was interesting. Sometimes when things get really crazy, I just need to clear everybody out and have some alone time. Sometimes I just need time to think. Traveling so much and being on the road all the time, it can definitely be lonely. Especially at the end of the day, you know, you're just kind of, all the work is gone and you're alone and I don't know what I would do without my cell phone. Just being able to connect back home and talk to everybody and see what's going on and, and just hear their voices. Hey, I was just kind of talk to you and tell you I love you. Sometimes I feel like I'm just constantly packing and unpacking and packing again and unpacking and lugging my suitcases here and there and it's, uh, you definitely uh, miss having a nice closet with everything laid out. Freddie, you ready? Airport? Yep, let's roll to the airport this time. Unless you want us to stay for another two weeks. Oh yeah, let's please stay. Right. It's not going to be cold in California. It's Do it. Do it, you know, do it good. Right. <laughs> have a good day the airport, guys. Oh. All right. It feels so good to be home and to sleep in my own bed, even if it's just for one day. I brush my teeth and feed my dogs, isn't that thrilling? I like to come home and reorganize things and it makes me feel a little more safe. Come here, Lola. Oh my god, I don't think it fits in. I cannot walk all four of my dogs at once. It's just not possible. They will completely get me tangled. So, I have to walk them two at a time. Come on, Coco. In all the things that you dream. Go, 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 go. Hi, Ria. Hi, Haley. How are you? I'm fine. Maria runs my whole household, and I don't know what I would do without her. She's become such a part of our family, and she's just really special. I miss being home. Did you finish all you had to do today? Yes. So next time we go back, hopefully it won't be so busy. It'll just be like shows and stuff. 
it's just so stressful. It's hard to try and pick out like a favorite day or a favorite thing that I did because it all just kind of blends together. And but when are you gonna have a day off? Today. Today is my day off. I still have to pack. Oh gosh, you're leaving tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to New York, and then hopefully I get a little break after that. Good. You need it. I know. Tonight, someone's gonna come over and teach us how to cook Mexican food. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be exciting. I've always wanted to be a good chef, so I take cooking classes whenever I get a free chance. And sometimes my friends do it with me, or Haley will do it. And we've never done Mexican food, so tonight is an exciting night. It's making chili mayonnaise really hard. A little bit hard, but <laughs> I did a little prep work, and I'll talk you guys through it. So uh, let's shred chicken. Okay. First up, we're gonna put chicken in our chili relleno. So let's, I shred it a bit, but one of you could work on it. It's pre-cooked. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's not due to your hands. hands. I'll cut my hand off. I'll be like. <laughs> you're not doing all the when I was in London, I had to work at a Lebanese restaurant and like handle raw meat. So at least this is cooked. So you're ready to go. I'm ready. Okay, who wants to grate cheese? I'll do that. Okay, good girl. And do you know how to cut? Slice? Chop? Yeah. Let's do some green onions, and this is for our filling that's gonna go in the chili relleno. So we have three different cheeses. Together? Okay, maybe if you just <laughs> go like this. This you, way? Yeah. Okay, got it. Three times. Okay. This is why I'm not in the kitchen. Right? <laughs> and then everything else? Yes, and just really thin slices, like probably to about here. Okay, nice. Can I get a smaller knife? <laughs> good job, brilliant. Nice, good job. So good. good job. Cheese in my hair. Cheese in your hair? No. Because it was flying everywhere. <laughs> so this isn't a health conscious meal at all, right? No, this is terrible for you. The next step involves fire. <sighs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Here's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big one. Oh. oh my god. Good a little job. flame shot up. Oh my god, I'm scared of mine. <laughs> the flame. stem of vine caught on fire. Look, it's bright red. Can you see it? You just pull off all those little burn parts? Yeah. Oh my god, it's like scary fish skin. Ew! <laughs> Carefully go in and try and pull the seeds out. With my fingers? Right. Like, everything okay, you're cooking is with your fingers. Really? I can't put a spoon in there? I mean, you can try. Haley, just dig in there. Look, it's really... <laughs> baby. A lot. They're traditionally battered in an egg and flour batter, but I'm using tempura mix. You know when you temporary yeah, Japanese uh -huh. food because it has much crunchier texture. Oh, good. Is it better for you than flour? No. No. <laughs> but no. But you know what's great is it comes in a box. Does yeah. flour come in a box too, though? No, it comes in a bag. Oh, it does. It comes in a bag. Is that we're going to dunk? Exactly. Okay. Right. How's that? Oh, That's no. great. As okay, much batter as off. possible. Good job. More yeah. batter? Yeah, do it. Do it one more time. Then wow, it. wait, wait. No, no. Hold it by the stick. Hold Stop. it by the stick. Stop. That's Stop. good, that's good. You just put them on here. That is intense. Whoa, now how long will you have to leave it in there for? It's only going to take about a minute on each side. Can I do the last one? Sure. I'll be really careful. This is crazy. I know. I know. Oh my god, they're slippery. It's like they're alive in there. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. <gasps> it looks so good. It almost looks like the outside of like catfish. I've never fried anything before like that. I know, so Is that exciting. like how you make fried chicken? Sure. Yes. Really? Oh, wait, I want to do one. Oh. You want to do one, Haley? Can I? Go yeah. ahead. Oh, my God, it smells so good. Oh, wait, it popped on me. Good girl. Are you okay? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, that was there so you hard. go. <laughs> I'll put the mole sauce on the plates, guys, while you finish that. This is awesome. So this is kind of manageable, huh? It's Even so though good. it's one of the more complicated I mean, things. but it's fun, like, to do it with te totally. lots of people. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Right, who's going to do the first bite? You do it. Okay. Ready? Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> I just love Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I could eat it every day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> One 
one day of rest, and it's time to hit the road again. It's rock and roll. We're going to miss the flight. Oh, I love New York. As crazy as it gets and as tired as I get, deep down I still love my job. You know, just as much as, as I did the first time I, I did it. It's quarter off. What the hell? Stop yelling. Get past the ball. Let's go. Good morning. Ryan! <laughs> it's too early. Morning. Morning. I'm stressed out. Where's Ryan? Okay, we're off to New York. Good morning, America. 5.45 a.m. Awesome. Alrighty, off to NYC, don't miss me! It's just such an exciting time in my life, and I want people to love my record. If people like it, it's, it's just so exciting um, to think that they, they relate to me as well and, and what I wrote, and I want them to feel good when they listen to it like I do.